Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is January 24th of 2023. It is me doing an extra question. So let's get to it. Oh, no. Any difficulty is fine. As long as I haven't done it before. And today's problem is 635, a premium problem for design log storage system. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem and so forth. Uh, okay, so you're given logs, it has some format. Okay, what do we want to do? We have to support at least two API, uh, stores the log, ID, time step, okay? And then retrieve is to start and then granularity. What does that mean? How precise the range should be? Huh? Oh. Mm, I don't know that I understand this problem for granularity. Why don't you just give me the the, the thing? Um, but it seems like we can probably store this thing in like a binary tree type thing, and then just binary search is probably how I would do it. It is kind of a little bit of an awkward thing because usually, um, if you have like in real life in real scalable things, um, you do know that logs generally come in at the same time and. Obviously, there's actually a lot of nuance with respect to kind of, you know, on per machine and then merging and so forth. But but in general, you put, you aggregate them on like the same day or something like that, right? So, uh, and then you, you know, uh, use some like big data type thing in Apache, either H, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hadoop or something like that. And then, you know, one, one uh, hive queries on them, if you will, or maybe, uh, you know, one of those fancy uh, map reduce e language uh, uh, type on top, right? Something like that. But um, what I'm saying is that you're probably not going to do what you're doing here. But you know, uh, that's just a little bit fun. I still don't really understand what this granularity means. And it does feel like it's going to be one of those things. I guess what they're trying to say is that you can ignore the the things, but that's just like if you're gonna do that, you could make it make that as part of the system or like the the query, right? Like you just retrieve that with, I don't know. That's just so weird, right? But either way, that's not that you know. Uh, it's just very silly. If you ask me, but yeah, let's let's start doing that. So here, um, you know, in Python, we don't really have a binary search tree type thing, or at least not that I know of. If you do know of one that I should be using, let me know in the comments. But what I'm setting up for is that I am going to use um, sorted list, and yeah, so solve that, da, 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 and then put what, what are we supposed to? So ID, do we use ID again? Oh, we do retrieve the ID. Okay, I mean, that's not that bad, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think how do I want to f store this, but I think storing this just like as um, timestamp, and because we have leading zeros and it's exactly still padded, right? Uh, I think this should be fine. I could be wrong, but and then retrieving it, uh, it's just gonna be a little bit silly. Um, I still don't know why they kind of do it like that because in a real thing you just instead of using granularity you just embed it in the start and end and that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. So yeah. So okay. Um, this is very awkward. But. I wonder if you can do it in linear as well. I mean, I kind of did it set. Yeah, at most 500 could, means that we can actually just do 500 squares. So maybe I kind of prematurely optimize. So let's just um, let's just make this a list. And then if we have to change, then we have to change, right? So yeah. And then here, let's just say, to 
so da -da 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 -da, we turn answer and then oops. I mean uh, start is you go to get green uh get green rarity of start so basically I'm just gonna change the string to basically what we set. Though I cannot spell it quite right. But basically what you want is just like I'm I'm still looking at, at kind of this thing. It's kind of really weird. Okay, I mean it's fine, it's just very weird. Right. Mm. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, and then maybe a true thing. Basically what I want to do is like increment or something like this. Uh, t for time. G for granularity and then maybe like an increment um, so that uh, when we get the end it will be inclusive and stuff like that um, basically if G is equal to um, what can G be again is one of these things this is just really annoying <laughs> okay so then T we can regex this out or maybe just spread it out. Uh, how do I do this again? I forget how you spread. Or T dot spread, I think that's the thing. That's why I was getting confused. And then you have year, month, day, hour, uh, minutes, and then seconds, right? Something like this, right? I don't know why I kind of wrote it in the awkward way. Uh, and then we map that to int, of course. And then if g is equal to, I mean, I, I don't, we could probably do this in a slightly smarter way, but I don't know. I think, I don't know if it's worth doing it in a slightly smarter way. Yeah, okay, then mm. Yeah, okay, then mm. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe I can do it in a slightly smarter way Then I was just thinking about that So in x is you go to do 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 Right um, Of uh, index of G and then maybe we actually map this into uh, uh, a day parts or something like this day parts date parts timestamp parts I don't know too late and then here then if we do increment then day parts of index increment by one and then for I in range of index plus one, and we go all the way to length of day parts plus, no, no, not plus one, and then day parts of I is equal to zero, because basically we zero out everything after that, and then we just return, um, yeah, hmm, I guess date year will always be four, so then something like do, 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 join um how do i do padding that's what i actually should know uh python zero pad because i think there's a thing with uh oh and that is that true zero fill hmm. so basically um x dot z fill of two for x in day parts or something like this right all right let's just print start and end just to kind of see if this is uh let's actually get everything right uh granularity and 
and see if that actually matches what we expect. Um, map has no land. What am I going? Oh, uh, okay, fine. I always forget that one. Or like you know, after I'm a rusty thingy. I don't see if it was a frame. Oh, because now there's a number. Uh, okay. So let's see. What what are the queries? This one we have two hundred six two thousand eight. Okay, I think that's fine. I think the twelve is a little. The zero zero is a little bit odd because maybe. I don't know if it goes by zero zero or twelve something or something like that. Um, okay, so I guess it goes to zero, so that's fine. And then the hour we have the hour. Um, is that right? Hmm. I'm trying to think whether like incrementing it would be wrong, but maybe not because it just throws everything in between. So maybe that should be okay. But uh, let's see. <laughs> I, I'm I wouldn't be surprised if this is slightly inaccurate, but I am not about this problem so uh yeah for x in sub dot away uh if if uh start da, 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 da. oh is x uh, which one is a tuple dun, dun, dun. does this matter hmm is x a tuple what do I append on here? Oh, I do append tuples in here. Um, so this is actually a timestamp and then the ID. So here and then I, okay. Yeah, it looks okay for the one test case that they give us. So let's get a wrong answer. Okay, there we go. Um, All right, so what are, what are we doing? Hmm, I see. Because the seconds, we don't have to increment. That's why. And I think this should have been this, that's why. All right, because we incremented it so that it shouldn't be matching anyway, whoops. Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be linear time and this is constant time. Um, I didn't really, you can do this in binary search, but it still be in the worst case linear, which is why I changed because you can always just get the entire, um, you know, return all the locks with every query. Um, so the, 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 the search could be a little bit optimized, but it's not, you know, that's why I mean I, I kind of want to also get it right because I I don't know if I was reading this poem correctly because of just granularity stuff. So yeah, um, cool. That's all I have for today. So let me know, or for this uh, thing. So let me know. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good my mental health. We'll do the actual daily poem afterwards. I think we have like a minute or two left. So yeah, see you later and take care. Bye bye.